Racing Lady Toy slow to begin showing pace there was Dinah Kayla going up quickly Cisco Rage though Cisco Rage goes to the lead by two or three to Zipping Maggie getting up on the inside I'm a fairy tale then came Dinah Kayla a bit wide was Julia Bale Bex is a long way out of it there Lady Toy second last and a cola rosebud is last of all out of the straight and a big leader Cisco Rage by five lengths Zipping Maggie's trying hard Dinah Kayla they're both running on those two and about three or four Julia Bale then further back in the outside was Bex and then came Lady Toy off the back straight. It's still Cisco Rage 2 in front. They're coming after it though. Zipping Maggie, Dinah Kayla and sweeping out wide was Bex with a big run. Bex out right, hit the front and Bex will get it a neck. Second Zipping Maggie. Third's tight Dinah Kayla, Lady Toy. Then came Julie Bale. In behind those Cisco Rage tied and well out of it I'm a fairy tale and the runner's 42.05. With a sweeping run Bex beats Zipping Maggie. They'll both qualify for the final. Six, two, three. And number six, Bex, has been running on stylishly in lots of distance races of late. And they uh, got the right run at the right time and pounced on the lead by Beckenbale, Flaming Doll, for P. Boucher at Dennington, two, Zipping Maggie, Peter Dapper and Taranza Bale, Natalie Rass, for the Helen and Syndicate. And we stand by for the... Third and fourth numbers. It's uh, three third, so six two three, six even, fifteen forty eight, thirty thirty eight, forty two oh four, and it's six two three. One is officially fourth lady toy, who made some good late ground. A half a length by a length and a quarter. A half a length by a length and a quarter. Uh, the